Hi, I'm Josh Kerving. Welcome to another Death Battle prediction video. But first, Green Arrow versus Hawkeye. Um, while I said that the fight was practically a coin flip, um, I was a little bit disappointed to see how much they favored uh, the Hawkeye side. Um, they didn't bring up like any of the feats that could have helped Green Arrow. They didn't mention him beating Prometheus or Solomon Grundy or anything that would have helped him really. It was kind of just Hawkeye power hour. Um, ultimately the fight itself was pretty plain. The comedy was good, but there's been other episodes that have done it better. Um, it was kind of a non-notable. I don't know. It was, it's interesting. It's almost a very impartial episode for me because I had no real investment in the characters and Ultimately, I kind of just look at this one and go, oh, okay. Um, so then we get the next one, which is the season finale, uh, Charizard versus Greymon. That's kind of a letdown. In all honesty, it's kind of a step back. Like, season one finale, Goku versus Superman. Season two finale, Charizard versus Greymon. I was expecting something a lot bigger, like maybe uh, Dante versus Bayonetta, or Galactus versus Unicron. There's bigger fights that they could have done for this. But oh well. Um, I'm probably not going to spend too long on this one because the results are kind of clear cut. Um, they've made it clear that they will be involving Mega Evolution. And because this is red, he specifically uses Charizard X. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, one thing that is very major in terms of uh, understanding what Charizard X can do is that he cannot necessarily scale to uh, feats that other Charizard Xs have done, meaning the feat where Elaine's Charizard fought the uh, Primal Groudon and was dodging hits like crazy, hurt Primal Groudon, and um, and was like, in general, able to survive a hit. Um, those don't actually scale to Red's Charizard. The only thing that Red's Charizard has for feats for his Mega Form is uh, beating Mewtwo, which is good, it's a certainly a good feat, but it makes it so that there's not too, too much to draw from, unless they are doing a composite uh, Charizard. Um, I'm not really going to go too much into stats here, because um, it, it's more a question of what they're going to include. Uh, while Greymon doesn't have too much variety in his attacks, uh, if he ends up digivolving at least two Skull Greymon, um, then it could prove pretty, uh, sorry, uh, Metal Greymon, then it could be very difficult for Charizard to win, and if he goes to War Greymon, it is impossible for Charizard to win. Um, this, the feats for War Greymon are completely ridiculous, they're, like, pretty solid, I'm fairly certain, like, country level, well, Mega Charizard X's feats are only up to, say, like, island level. Um, it's not that close of a fight with that taken into account, especially because any advantages that Charizard had, which is flight and uh, speed, are completely gone when um, War Greymon gets involved. Um, I'm not sure how they're going to portray the speed, because this is death battle and they don't really do that unless it's convenient for them, but... Oh well, we'll see. Um, and War Greymon has several... Um, has, I think, like, three attacks, while Charizard has, like, nine that he's used. So, ultimately, versatility goes to Charizard too, but he just doesn't have the stats to do anything about this. Um... At best, you could scale him to maybe country level for not getting massively killed by Mewtwo, but no, no, 
it's a uh, shaky grounds. Uh, so ultimately, my verdict is whether or not War Greymon is involved. If War Greymon is there, then Jars are gonna die, which makes me sad. Um, if he is not there, then Charizard has a chance, depending on how high they go with the Digivolutions. Um, with War Greymon in the fight, I'm skeptical on whether or not he's going to be there. Because uh, something that was of note is that never has any form other than Agumon uh, gone into uh, War Greymon. So it's always Warp Digi Evolution that makes it so that Agumon can get to um, War Greymon. However, he has never actually gone from Greymon or Metal Greymon to War Greymon. So they could say that he can't do it. And then if um, and then if it comes down to it, and like Metal Greymon is beaten. And um, he goes back down to Agumon. He's not actually able to immediately warp Digivolve into uh, War Greymon. So, while my bias and preference for Pokemon says, Yay, go Charizard! I know that there's a very low chance of that. Um, so that's honestly my only input on it. The animation should be something interesting. Um... Beyond that, though, I will see you guys at the start of Season 3. Have a good one.